I started to think about this uh, issue uh, during the Transmedia Literacy Project in which we uh, analyzed uh, several informal learning strategies and in that context uh, I uh, uh, started to individuate another um, type of actors, not only uh, channels, uh, media, but also human actors that uh, uh, play the role in this informal uh, learning uh, landscape that were the influencers. So in the uh, 2021 I uh, um, carried out a, a research with uh, 300 uh, young people in Italy uh, asking them uh, uh, if there were um, influencers for them and the motivation, the reasons of um, such influence in their life. And uh, uh, surprisingly they uh, told me about this uh, uh, accidental and informal uh, role, uh, uh, learning role of such influencers. So uh, they uh, uh, liked and loved uh, not only the entertainment, uh, the emotional uh, uh, role of such uh, actors, but also the possibility to learn something in a really uh, easy way and also emotional way, really near to their daily life. Life. And so from such uh, research I, uh, I uh, went on uh, with other uh, development and other research about this. Uh, about the influence, I, I started with such uh, um, quantitative analysis uh, uh, based uh, in reality to self-ethnographic reports by students. They had to describe me uh, they, uh, a, a week of their media life and the influence they encountered and uh, when and why they uh, considered them interesting and uh, insightful for them and also to catch images, examples of such uh, uh, importance. So I uh, managed to uh, collect uh, quite 500 uh, uh, influencers that were uh, mentioned by such uh, uh, young people, young students, and uh, uh, I categorized them. And uh, in uh, categorizing such influence uh, uh, assets, I uh, detected the, uh, the educational one as one of the more important and uh, insightful for them. And so it started uh, uh, by uh, an analysis of the audiences no? and their perception and also which were the values uh, uh, related to the influence. So for example, the emotional uh, values, the uh, learning values and not only the knowledge as a, a first, um, first asset. During such uh, analysis of these 500 uh, influences, I tried to categorize no, the main topics covered by such, uh, such creators and uh, uh, I reached four main categories. One was uh, related to um, uh, school-based uh, um, issues, uh, for example, history, science, uh, uh, foreign languages, um, very important. Another uh, was related to uh, so-called socio-emotional skills and uh, so influencers that uh, helped, to, uh, helped the, the young people to uh, improve their uh, emotional um, attitude uh, toward the life, toward the problem. Uh, in the <laughs> Uh, tradition of the um, self-help uh, uh, tutorials and so on and uh, also related to several uh, mental health uh, problems and issues uh, that uh, young people uh, uh, felt. And uh, another um, areas of uh, learning was related to social activism and citizenship. So many of these uh, uh, influences uh, were uh, related to uh, social issues as uh, environment, uh, as uh, um, uh, sustainability, but also gender uh, roles, uh, human rights uh, and so on, minorities. So uh, through such influences, the uh, young people found uh, some way to, uh, to explore the activism and to explore also social issues. 
And uh, um, the last one was the most typical, the tutorial. So how to do, how to make things, not only to cook, but also to craft, to also to uh, make things in a very uh, specific and niche uh, uh, fields and uh, hobbies for them. So these four uh, areas of learning were the most uh, covered by, by creators. Uh, um, after this first uh, analysis, I uh, um, switched to the uh, production uh, side of the, of the work. So I um, interviewed 40 uh, content creators uh, selected uh, from the pool of uh, influencers that uh, the students uh, have mentioned before. And so uh, my idea was to, uh, and I, I developed uh, through such interviews, uh, an analysis of their learning, uh, of their didactic strategies, and a, a new format of uh, uh, um, edutainment that they uh, were carried out uh, through uh, not only Instagram, but in many cases, uh, a transmedia uh, strategy uh, based on books, uh, uh, Instagrams, in many cases also uh, Telegram channels uh, and uh, YouTube and so on. So the idea was to understand better how these actors were um, uh, transforming the education in, uh, in, uh, in the informal uh, sphere.